Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can divide, multiply and extend a waveform or a loop. Before I start, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So I just initialized a project. I removed also the microphone input so it doesn't get in the way. And the first thing I want to do is to remove this line, this row of uh, clips. And I will explain that in a moment why I've done that. I'm going also to add a button there and um, I'm going to move it here. And you, in, in your case, you might um, comes up as a different size. So in that case, if that happens, you can just click and hold and you can change the size as we have showed in a previous tutorial. Then I'm going to click and hold to copy that. I'm going to click outside, paste, aside that and paste again. And I'll come back to these in a moment on why I have done that. I'm going to the first clip here. I'm going to show the detail screen and I'm going to load a loop, which is a kick drum. And let's listen to it. As it is very short, it will get repeated uh, very quickly. And that is why you keep um, hearing that uh, kick drum very quickly. So let's import that. Okay, we have done that successfully. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to hold one with one finger and the second one, then drag to another clip so I can copy, repeat the same and to the next clip, which means I copy and repeat the same again to the next clip. And you might want to, this, to do this in a different way, but just to uh, explain uh, from a tutorial perspective what it means by dividing, extending and multiplying. So I'm going to show again the uh, detail screens for the first clip. You know that you can play that uh, waveform. Um, in here and if the region that is not playing is you need to set a length and a tempo as well so and now if we go back to it and click play it will play now notice the duration in bit 0.31 and also the uh, duration in second 0.1563 seconds now if i click extend look what happens to the waveform so there is a, a doubling of uh, the um, length of the waveform and you can see also the bits and the seconds which have multiplied by two and you can multiply again by two as well. The divide does the opposite as you can see, click divide, it divided by two, click divide again, I go back to the original waveform, okay? The difference with uh, multiply is that um, it doubles up the length of uh, the waveform but it copies the waveform as well so let me show you like so so you have two waveforms and of course the uh, length has been uh, doubled now if i click divide again i go back to the original waveform okay perfect now let's try to do the same with the other clips but using the buttons and the for action so I go in edit mode, I click on the first, uh, on the first uh, uh, button and I select to have um, an action when I press the button. And here I'm going to do multiply. You see there is a multiply and a divide, but there is no an extent. The reason for that is that when you click on multiply, it gives you the option to pad with silence, okay, which is the equivalent of extend. And if you don't select that, it will actually duplicate the waveform, which is the equivalent of uh, multiply in the detail screen. So in this case, what we're going to do is select um, part with silence, which is equivalent to extend. And then we're going to target that specific clip, which is above there. Next, instead, we are going to add another action, multiply again. But this time we are not going to select pad with silence, which means it will duplicate that waveform. And we're going to select that waveform as well. Next, what we are going to do is to divide. So we select as an action, the divide clip length, and we choose again um, a clip, in this case, the clip which associated to the blue color. Okay. 
So let's go back to the looping view and um, let's listen to the um, yellow clip. Okay, now I'm going to click several times duply the button underneath, which will uh, multiply with um, pad, which is the equivalent of extent. Okay, as you can see, it has duplicated, uh, extended. You see the way the waveform is much longer. So any padded uh, any extended using uh, silence as padding. Now let's go to the second one, which is set to multiply as an action, but with no padding, no silence as padding. So in this case, you see duplication. Look, let's play, and I can duplicate it further and further again. which is really nice indeed. This is a nice way to duplicate your uh, waveform. And the last one is divide. So we have uh, our standard kick and we can divide it by two. There you go. Which is very interesting indeed. So as you can see, this is a nice way to um, divide, extend and multiply it. So you see it to, in, in two ways one through the detailed screens, um, which you have access through the clip, and the other one, of course, using action specific, in this case, to buttons. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, and as always, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.